Hello guys, this is the same lobby as the last video. We've got another uh, live cast here for a high level skill lobby 8v8. Um, I do want to say, I forgot to mention in the last video and this video, a long range rapid fire uh, cannon, plasma cannons are disabled it seems in this lobby. Uh, yeah. Uh, last last game was uh, not the, in my opinion, not the most interesting video, like uh, not the most interesting, uh, what do you call it, uh, AP8 battle. Uh, the, I saw like that one like high school play, which was the 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 the, the Mex explosion. Um, other than that, it was just like a couple minor things that happened. I was just rambling about Armada versus Cortex and why I play Cortex more often these days. But uh, yeah, yeah, I, there's definitely it's 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 pro and cons for both. It's it's very close between the two factions. Like I know why all the pros go like Armada a lot, and. And then I, pre uh, for my own preferences, I'm like, I, I should play Cortex a little more. I just like the c certain things about it. I don't know. Yeah, I, I kind of went over that the last video here. So maybe maybe this time I'll, like, explain, uh, focus on uh, the game here. Yeah, I just want, oh, man, n now I'm thinking, like, mm, no, nah, the T3 from Cortex is just such a juicy, juicy point to get to. That, like, yeah, just spamming out ca catapults and Shivas and then sending them in. That feels good. <laughs> if you get like, like 50, uh, 10 catapults, 10 to 15 catapults, and like 30 Shivas, 30 to 40 Shivas, like, oh my god, dude. Like, there's like very few armies that can stop that. Like, you need crazy defenses. I mean, although once you get to that point, you know. But it, it, it's a very good army. It feels really good. Those catapults kind of just uh, dunk on everything. <laughs> All right, we got our scouts going running out here. They've yet to meet. Uh, I, I wonder why they do this. I've heard that it's in the high level games is to scout what players are in what positions. I don't personally think that's a very good thing or like very useful. Like, I don't think it's that useful. I'd much rather know where the. Uh, uh, where the, uh, fusions are, basically. All the, uh, economies are, than, than the players, like... Because at a certain point, all the players are very threatening. Maybe only red is the most threatening, but, like, if he's on front, you're gonna know. If he's in the back, you'll know as well, because you don't see him on the front. Same with, like, blue. It's, like, the highest player is probably the, the most threatening. Everyone else is just equally threatening after a certain point. When they get enough skill, you know, they're all just the threat. Alright. A little more passive this time. Okay, red looks like he's trying to scout and try to get a run by in if he can. He wants to. Yellow is doing the same thing. He wants to get those units in. Red, Red's cautiously going in here. He, he, can, he, can, he can dive in here, but uh, he doesn't know. Playing more cautiously, it seems. Okay. Ooh, blue scouts get caught out there. Ooh, is that a bomber? Dude, early bombing runs. What is this? Ooh, that hurts. That hurts. That's a lot of energy. That's like five, six thousand meta uh, energy that was just lost there. Six thousand energy is nothing. Is, is nothing small. Ooh, he's hitting the the windmills too. Ooh, ooh, that's like almost all his power right there, dude. Seven kill bomber. Now that's worth it. Now that's worth it. And there's no anti-air here still. Zero. Zero anti-air. Oh my god. 14 kills, dude. It's a it's a disaster. This is the one time the, the early game bomber actually pays off, because usually this get, this gets swatted down like instantly. Oh, it's a disaster. Another bombing run? Oh no, dude. Oh my god, 18 kills on that bomber. Drop the bombs, drop the bombs! Okay, he... <laughs> he got- died. Oh my god, dude, that was devastating. 18 kill bomber. Alright, Rumbai gets shut down. Dude, bottom team's in the- In the red this time. They're the ones in trouble. Yep. Another Rumbai here. I think he's- He's thinking about it. Now he changes his mind, goes back. Okay. That's rough, man. That's real rough. Uh, that looks like eco things, right? Let's see. T2 started. I mean, this guy's should have his res bot going up. Yeah, he's gonna 
I, I would send that right now. Yeah, the Rizbot needs to get on that right now so you can get the T2. That puts this guy just a little bit ahead. I think just a little bit ahead. Dude, what is this? I don't understand. Is this a pro strat that I don't understand? I usually... There's four of it. I don't think you need this many. I think this is overkill. Maybe the pros know something. No, he's 22. I don't I don't believe this. I don't believe this. I don't think this this makes sense. Yeah, I, I don't think this makes sense. Maybe one, right? One, right? But I, 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 I simply do not understand it. Just build more windmills, lol. Like, seriously, what is that? 37 to 170? That's like five windmills, dude. Five windmills. Five windmills. Okay, five windmills is giving... Like 30 energy on low medium wind here, 40 energy, like 50 energy, like 50, 50 plus energy, right? Versus like 6,000 capacity. I'd rather take the 50 energy here, okay? Like way, 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 way better to just get five windmills than another one of these. And I think that's why he's behind a little bit. Was it 570 energy? Okay, he didn't focus on the um that much wind here. What is this? Well, he's got two of them, but now he's lacking power. Like, I, you want to build this or five windmills, huh? What's the deal here? I, I don't get it. Is this some tech players thing? Like where they like stock up energy so they can build it? I don't understand. Like, I, I think you're just better off building the windmills, man. Like you can build one to, to smooth it out, but like five windmills, man. Five windmills. Worth it so much, especially if you're doing, doing this. That's what? 15 windmills? 10, 14, 15 windmills? Almost 200 energy. Almost 200 energy, basically. 150 to 200 energy with this uh, current wind speed, right? I, I don't know. I, I just feel like that, that this is way better. Income is way better than storage. All right, that's enough me being being like my pet peeve, right? <laughs> I don't build um, that many energy storages and definitely not four in the early game like this. Yeah, blue. I think he rebuilt his, or it never went down. Oh, interesting. He chose the uh, vehicles. Uh, I I don't think I, dude. I, I missed the uh the the factory openings. Oh well, man. Oh man. <laughs> uh, I forgot to do it. Okay. I mean, I think you can kind of see what they're doing here. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Janus's man. They're a lot better than I used to uh, rate them. Yeah, they're just sort of, uh, they're just doing their thing, you know? It's that phase in the game where they're shooting rockets at each other from long range as much as they can. Oh man, <laughs> Janus is so good. Yeah, you just have a couple tanks to, to shoo off any, like, um, fast units, and sometimes the, uh, the Janus's doesn't kill the unit directly, so better to have a faster attacking unit to finish them off, right? If it's like on one HP, you know, a single stout shot will finish it. And they shoot very fast so they can cover the weakness of the Janus, right? Mm -hmm. Light artillery, this game. Yeah, they're just doing their artillery things, man. That's just how it goes in this game. In the 8v8s, it's always like this. It's all stalemated across the board here. So, a lot of early game damage from the bomber. But, oh my god, guys. Ah! That is a chain reaction. That is a chain reaction. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's generally... Oh my god, that is a huge chain reaction. That is spaced out. I mean, like, look. You see how red does it? See how blue does it? Uh, he, I think he, no, he spaced it out. So he's doing it a little differently, but he spaced it out there. But most people do this, and I do this, because it's very easy and quick. I mean, most times your windmills don't go down, but in the event it does go down, it doesn't chain react, right? And it's it's fairly space efficient, so that's why you do it. It chain, chain reacts just a little bit, but it's like it's fine, because like the trade-off is, is, is good for space and convenience in exchange for just a tiny bit of the chain reaction but it's not going to explode like like this 
This is just all gonna go down. Yeah, I mean, there. Uh, what can I say, man? We we've seen this battle like three thousand times. They do this every single game. <laughs> it's always, always, always artillery spam. <laughs> artillery spam early game, and then late game it's artillery spam, and then ultra late game it's artillery spam. Like, yeah. <laughs> Range is OP. <laughs> oh, Zar. Zar comes out. I mean, you see that so often on uh, Supreme Ismith these days as well. Just uh, someone gets out of one one Zar and just micros it <laughs> to get like three thousand kills. Oh my God, he's repairing the Zar too. Oh my God, wait, Zars have six fifty range. That's pretty big, dude. That's actually really big. That's a dog's range, hound, and they do a lot of damage. Oh yeah, that's a lot of damage, dude. He can kind of outrange the Warden, which is crazy. He does uh, outrange it. Yeah, T2 just outclasses all of T1. It's it's real bad to, to be on T1 fighting against T2. It feels real bad. Oh, I, was, uh, oh, I think he should have gone for the degun there. Look at that turn speed from that uh, Zara. That was really slow. I'm pretty sure he could have degun that there. Yeah, that's a missed opportunity. He could have gotten that D-Gun right there. Or even sack his commander and take out the units that were just standing by. I think I think one of these... This guy has the, the energy for it. He can cloak and run up and D-Gun. Do they see it? Do they see it? They see a unit, but they don't know what it is. So they're not going to react because they don't see the commander symbol. Oh, he's kind... He's going the wrong way, and that's a D-Gun. Successful D-Gun. Dude, and he's gonna run away. He's gonna get out. That's exactly what you want, uh, what you needed to do. That was uh, what I was talking about. That was really good. Real good. Real good. Ion Storm 20, 24. That's a good play, though. That was real good. Absolute W move. Because he doesn't have a vehicle factory again. He he, he doesn't have another Zara. And that Zara was D-Gun, so he can't be rezzed. So it's gone. Very good move. That's gonna W for the top team. This attack looks like it's gonna fail because there's just too many units here, maybe? I like the spread from the uh, the red. A lot of his units were spaced out. These units were not so spaced out. So maybe he got a good trade there. He might have been able to break through, like just do a run by. He might have been able to do that. But you know, it's always risky to do that. Always, always risky. Like, cause you don't, you don't know what's behind it. Oh, T2 dogs are out. The hounds are out. Looks like Blue's sacking his commander, killing some of Yellow's units here. Um, Yellow's commander is also very low, and unit oh T2 tanks Tiger is trying to hunt it down, getting hunted by a tiger. Tiger's being micro, so he's trying not to get degunned. Units are swarming that commander. He's also, I believe, cloaking. Yep, cloaking. Commander gets away. Um. 1,250 is is like a decent chunk at this stage in the game. It's not not too crazy because we have um we have T2 units being pumped out. Like yeah, this is these two are is worth that commander basically. So yeah, not not the end the end, end of the world at this stage of the game. Bond team is having a rougher start, but that could even out. Power income is favoring top as well though. Um, ah, chain reaction, chain reaction, chain reaction. I mean, first fusion. Oh, he's going nukes. He's going nukes. First fusion is actually faster for topside on their eco player. Oh, wait. Air is on fusion over here. Air is also on. Eh. This nuke is going to be very fast, though. Or, not fast. It's just, um. It's just not going to be contested. There's no anti nuke being built. Uh, this is going to get off. I'm pretty sure this is, this is going to hit a base. Yeah, dude. He's not going to be able to do do that. This guy's getting nuked. Feels bad, man. Like, I I don't know why this tech player is so far behind. Maybe it's because he, he spent the time microing and uh, building tanks here. Like, yeah, this guy's very far behind now. Um, that might account for why the top team is a little ahead here. Uh, at least in the power income. Oh, no. Wait, wait. Good for bottom team. You got a breakthrough. Good, good for bottom team. Who does this? <laughs> Who do this? I mean, I do that sometimes, actually, because the idea is, like, 
if they are getting to your geo, it's going down anyways. Like, it's such a fragile thing, and they always target it. And, like, your engineer's there, so you might as well build the power converters there so you don't waste time, but, like, yeah. Uh, technically, it is better just to put your, your like, your converters, like, over here, right? If you if you really need them to be built by the same engineer, so, that, like, yeah. All right, a uh, bit of a breakthrough. Some metal extractor geo goes down. That's some damage done, but that nuke is coming in. A nuke is going to... That nuke is gonna come up. Uh, anti nuke is being built. Okay, it's gonna be a race then. I don't know who finishes. I do know anti nukes build faster, but he's gotta build that as quickly as he can. And I don't, this one's not in range. Uh, this is the this is the build issue. He he's gonna get nuked. I'm pretty sure he's gonna get nuked. I'm like I'm like eighty percent sure he gets nuked. Twenty seven seconds. Uh, I don't know the nuke timing on, on the. I don't know how the, how fast they're built. I do know... Oh, so this is the Armada. So this is the Armada uh, nuke silo, and it's faster than the uh, Cortex nuke silo. So that's another thing working against this guy here. I don't think he's I don't think he's going to survive. They're going to get nuked. Bottom team not looking like uh, they're doing so well here. Income lead is very similar. I mean, no, top is still ahead. Yeah, top is still ahead. Like 10-15%. Yeah, and that, that lead is going to get bigger when this nuke goes off. If it does go off. Okay. Anti-nuke started. I think it's going to be too slow. I, I don't know. It's so hard to tell, man. It's so hard to tell. I don't know. I, I feel like it might be. I think it might be. If, if he launches this instantly, it might be. It might be too late. But he will EMP? EMP? How are they gonna eat? What? I don't understand. <laughs> what are you saying, man? How are they gonna EMP that? I don't see any EMP bombers. I don't see, like, invez units getting through into the back. I, I don't know if he's gonna be able to do that. The nuke is the... The nuke can be fired. Oh, yeah, it definitely can be fired. He, he, better, he better be firing that ASAP like it's ready it's ready he should fire it right now if he fires it right now this thing won't be ready oh he's not paying attention dude dude he's not paying attention this is this is oh he's firing it fire 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 <laughs> fire fire oh dude dude if he fired that instantly that would have landed I'm pretty sure that would have landed if he fired that instantly oh he's too late now it's too late now. It's too late. Absolutely too late. Anti nuke is ready. All this area is protected. He could nuke the uh, this side. That's something he could do. We got some breakthroughs happening. Actually, that's a lot of okay. Missile tanks don't matter. There is a tiger. There is a couple tigers here. There's a lot of other units coming back. Oh, man, dude, he missed his chance. He could have um, destroyed this team here. Absolutely destroyed this team. I'm pretty sure if he just fired it as soon as it was ready. Okay, now he's too late. Where is he firing that? Okay, he's targeting the right side. So yes, he will actually get a fusion. So that is actually pretty much full damage off the nuke. I mean, he's getting a fusion, which is great. And he's getting a factory. And he's getting all these all these windmills and stuff. We about to die, guys. We about to die. Blue is eating, oh, taking a lot of damage. And that nuke is going to land. Oh yeah, maximum damage on green. Green is reset to the stone age. At least he's got his engineers. Reset to the Stone Age. Absolutely a reset to the Stone Age. That anti-nuke was just in time, but unfortunately he was very unlucky on which side it went on. Good call from Brown. Uh, is it Maroon? I don't know what this color is. Brown. Dude, he can fire another nuke. Um, he could hit Blue's base. I think he scouted the... Uh, the um, he scouted the... Um, the fusion there, so he can hit right here. I'm pretty sure. I don't know... Wait, does he know about the anti-nuke? How does he know that? Oh my god, he does have an EMP. Dude, he sneaked that in. I didn't even see that. Dude, he is gonna EMP that. Holy Jesus, man. Oh no, guys. Oh no! It's just it's so over. <laughs> I resigned. 
22nd EMP, the nuke comes out. Oh, what a game, what a game. Oh, what a game. It's time to resign. Oh, the bomber is just a sealed deal. Unfortunately, all those bombers go down at the same time, so a bit of friendly fire action there, but that was their tech player, technically? Technically, the air player had more air income, so very funny, but dude, that is devastating. Absolutely devastating. Blue left the game. Two bases nuked. Top tier, top tier nuke plays here. How can I be mad at this if he gets these off? Like, dang, son. Dang, son. There's no anti-nuke here anymore. <laughs> dang, son. He can fire again, most likely, because they're not going to be able to build anti-nuke in time. Income is 2x in favor of top team. That is game. Top team wins. For sure, for sure. Uh, Nuka's teammate with bombers. I never got one. And project okay, I don't know what they're saying. Playing about something, it doesn't really matter. Correct tremors. I mean, I do like tremors now, but um, the nukes were just too strong. Those nukes, man. Nuke MVP for sure. Two hundred and twelve kill nuke. Silo. He can nuke the- yeah, he's nuking that. Yeah, it's- it's going off. It's- it's game. Run for your lives! It's over. It's over. It's simply over. Where's that nuke? Oh, it's firing. Ah, uh, right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that's so bad, dude. Anti nuke is too slow. It feels so bad. Oh, it feels bad, man. I think it, I think I saw that anti nuke like fly up and land somewhere. That is so it feels bad, man. <laughs> Definitely just resign, guys. Three bases were nuked. Three backline bases were nuked. It's over. It's over. Yeah, that's game. Thanks for watching. That was pretty funny. Dude, it was, that was actually a really good nuke play. It's 317 nuke silo. Uh, hero nuke silo. Alright. Thanks for watching and goodbye.